hi guys welcome to my channel i am back with another video so today um now these are the sanrio bags that i already had and i've already showed you guys um when i ordered these this one is going to be the my melody so it's very pretty it has um it's pink and white it almost looks like a rose gold and i really love the color of pink because it's a very it's a very pretty pink. It's almost like a very mature pink. It's not too cotton candy pink and it's not too playful like hot pink. It's a very, I would say it's very, it's very beautiful. It's like a, the pastel straps, which I love pastel pink. And then the overall bag has like a, like a really beautiful rose gold hue about it. And the bottom is pastel uh, pink, this really pretty soft color, like a petal pink. And the white, the white pockets, the white um, pocket in the front and on the sides, they're uh, just a overall, you know, basic white. Nothing like, there's no shimmer, no nothing on there, no, no applique, other than these little appliques. And then, of course, the charm is so cute. It's like a really pretty spring with the pastel lilac and pink and yellow. And the overall color of her face is really interesting. It has the gold eyes and the gold mouth. It, it's like a goldish light brown, I would say. It's, it's a very different color. It's not black. It's not brown. It's like an in-between of golden tan or something like that. So it does give a really happy look to the bag. But my favorite part of the whole bag is the ears. They really did give us these really lush, plush ears like a like a stuffed animal and they're really really cute the way they have really good structure so very I'm very happy with this bag I would have to say out of out of all all the sequence bags that I order from this Unreal Loungefly collection I think this might be my favorite just because I love pink not my favorite character but the overall bag I cannot wait to wear for like Easter and spring with dresses because I love the pink okay so that one was a real quick overview again and then we have karomi which i absolutely love karomi's mischievous little face always um has something on her mind and those little pom-poms or they're not furry they're just like the little applique like the leather it has a really pretty plaque um the sanrio i would say this almost looks like a pastel pink and I love it with the purple. Purple is one of my absolute favorite colors to wear. It has an all purple um, backside. And then she's right there, real cute little picture. Same thing, a really basic under bottom. No glitter, no nothing like that. Um, it's just a really cute face. The ears. Ears are hanging on there. I'm a little worried about them, but this one has more play than this one. And so for that purpose, I'm, I'm going to be watching this ear a lot. <clears throat> but overall, this is a stunning bag. The whole collection is very stunning. I have got these on Shop Hippo and I was not disappointed at all. I was, they were everything I wanted and more. I would have to say these are like the prettiest lounge fly bags that I own. And so it really makes me want to get the whole collection of this of the sequin Sanrio collection. But yes, this is definitely the one I was looking forward to the most. So after I got those two guys, I went back for more, of course. So it was a very difficult decision. I was thinking, do I get the the bats one with the black pink one, or do I get the green Kurobi one? Well. <clears throat> you guys guessed it. If y'all guessed, guessed Karopi, you got right. I don't know if it's pronounced Karopi or Karopi. If everyone's pronounces it different from what I've heard. But this is a gorgeously happy bag. Oh, it's so cute. It has a little Karopi charm in different colors which makes it look so springtime and, and cute. 
the blue is so pretty I, I wanted this to be red and white but I really love the way the blue looks and you look at this little cheery he's they're not pink cheeks they're reddish cheeks so they have like a like an orangey red hue to the cheeks which I think yes it looks very spring like and very cute he has his little hands here like he's like wee, you know and he has a cute little grin with this ear with his eyes looks like little rainbows because he's smiling so much when I smile my eyes kind of do that little and I notice that that when my kids smile a whole lot like that when they're laughing their eyes do the same thing they are they're like round but then they turn into this like little you know you know what I'm talking about they turn into like a little half rainbow or rainbow so it's really cute he has this really cute grin like he's just laughing and having a good old time and here he is with his bottom feet they give him the walking feet so he has one foot out one foot in and he's just you know doing his little walk so it's very cute the way they do the details the bottom is this really pretty uh, green which of course is the same as the back of the bag it's a very pretty lime green now I'm not a big lime person I'm not a big green person but paired with this overall gorgeously green sequin color they pick it, it matches beautifully it's a very it's a, it gives a very refreshing clean feel and it's not at all gaudy or over the top or too playful or too childish it is just it, it's just these bags are work of art I love how they did the gold they did the gold uh zipper and metal all, is all gold hardware just like the other two bags so I really really love that because I love the gold hardware <clears throat> they did the side pockets so these are functional both um side pockets on the side look at that green it's so pretty right I don't know what color of green this is maybe I'll do it's like a peridot because this is not grass green this is not kelly green this is like the color of green peridot like almost like green gold I would say it's like a green gold like a real pretty you know in some lights it can look more goldenish but then in some lights it's very green like it's a, it's a green there's no doubt about it but it has like a like a goldish hue of a green if that makes sense but yeah so with this um with this little outfit he's wearing with the blue and white this reminds me of like labor day carnivals um a circus you know like there is so many cute things that you could wear this to definitely the theme parks or any kind of park for that matter picnics barbecues like this is just the cutest bag and did I show you all the back picture sorry guys I'm all over the place look at that he's with his cute little red cheeks and he's has this little blue and white outfit he's going to the park with his little friend it is just so pretty and again I'm, I'm looking forward to wearing this definitely in the spring and summertime especially in the summertime over here where I live there's a lot of fields and it's like a country it's definitely like a country out here where I live and there's a lot of in the summer it's like fireflies in the summertime and we have a lot of barbecues all, every time you go outside all you smell is barbecue in the air but this little bag is so cute to wear for like when you're going to the pool or when you're going out somewhere it's just so cheery it's just so it's a different kind of feel than the other two because to me these are like so girly the pink and the purple ones are I don't know with this black one I'm, I'm def with this purple one I'm definitely gonna be wearing some black stuff some overall black outfits definitely some dresses tennies like it's so cute it's like rebelish and I plan to wear it like that but this one is very girly and dainty and I do plan to wear this one with like dresses and just really cutesy girly things whereas this one is just overall fun time you know not really I wouldn't be you can wear it dressed up but I wouldn't I'm just gonna take this one when I go to like outdoor gatherings or anything anything in the summertime it's it's just so cute I just love it so then after this 
I got my daughter one because that's the way I am. I kind of like, if I get myself one, I have to get my daughter one. So I got her the Karomi, the Karomi Loungefly Exclusive Unicorn Carnival. Sorry guys, this name is like, this name never ends. The Karomi Carnival Loungefly Unicorn Pastel. It's, it's just like so, This the names they give these bags, right? <clears throat> Gold Hardware. Love it. Look at that plaque. Have you ever seen a more beautiful plaque? This plaque to me, it is the most gorgeous. It's like a dreamy, I don't even know what color that is. If, I want to say it's like a periwinkle, but it's like a pearlescent periwinkle. I don't even know, but this bag is stunning. The colors of it blew my mind. The overall bag is very dreamy-like. It's very whimsical. I, we When we saw this online, we thought, oh no, that's too kiddish for us. That's like the unicorn. is. It looks like a baby. It looks like a baby bag or something like for a little baby or child, but not at all. This, the Tumbles, so if you want it, I like that they add details like that. Not that they will necessarily ever use it, but I prefer it like this. I think it looks cute like that. But what drew me to this bag is when I saw other people, other people on YouTube reveal their bag and I got to see um, the actual true colors because the actual true colors of this bag, they are amazing. They're not like any of the other ones we've have. Um, the gold with the gold hardware with the purple looks stunning. But then when you look at it closer, the bag has all these beautiful effects. It has like this pearlescent, uh, trimming and it's all down the piping of the bag even right here. So nothing went like, nothing went like undone. The, all the straps have this really pearlescent finish. It gives a really dreamy, beautiful effect. It's like an iridescence. Um, then the bag has, you know, hues of white, purple, blue, and they're all kind of mixed together. It's almost like a painting, like a, like a watercolor painting. And it's a very pretty, it's not too light. We did get the pom pom in one and we thought that that was really light. So that was not a bag we kept, but I will probably get it again. Just I'm not gonna pay full price for that one because it was so such a light bag on the pom pom and roller coaster bag. It was a beautiful idea, it was really cute, but we like to see the bag, like the coloring. So I was really, we were really happy when this one did not have the same, you know, similarities. It was, it was, it's very defined. The picture is very defined. The applique is very defined. The coloring, it has that embossment where you could actually feel. It's very textural. So overall, this bag is uh, beautiful. My daughter is very happy to have it in her collection. You see when I move it, you could see it's kind of like, you could see the pink and the purple and the pearlescent unicorn. This unicorn is not white. It's like a pearl, like a pink and white. So it's very, it's very beautiful. I would say this is a very dreamy bag. And if you love, if you love Kuropi, I mean not Kuropi, not the green frog is Kuropi, this is Kuromi. But if you love Kuromi and you love theme parks and carnivals, and anything having to do with with that, I would get this bag. My daughter is obsessed with like theme parks, and I hate the roller coaster. Not roller coasters. I hate I hate roller coasters, and I don't like carousels because they go around and around, and I get motion sickness. However, my daughter loves carousels, so this totally reminded me of her, just because. Ever since she was tiny, we would, she's only nine years old, so she still likes carousel somewhat, but ever since she was tiny, her thing was the carousel. Like, she loved to pick out her, her animal and go on it, and it was just special for her. It was a special time. So, you can see the bag, the side of the bag has pearl, like, not pearls, but it has stars. It has stars. 
these little like uh, glimmers. I don't know if you can see that. These little glimmering like stars. Like you're almost like up in up in the sky. You know, it's a very happy, pretty, pretty bag. And yeah, I would say this one you could pretty much wear anytime as well. Spring or summer, I think it's really pretty. Even in the fall, this is easy to wear. So there are the bags, guys. Those are the two that I got earlier in the month. And then these two are the new ones. And you know I'm probably going to go back for the other sequence. You know, it, it might be Hello Kitty. It might just be Hello Kitty and the uh, Bats one. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to make more. If they do, I'm, I'm totally going to go for them because they have a lot of cute characters that they don't have right now available, like the Choco Cat, Pom Pom Purin in sequence. There is just so many cute Sanrio characters that I wish they would create more of, not just the same ones over and over. Love them, but we want all of the characters, not just the, you know, a few. So guys... Thank y'all so much for joining me today. It's a lot of fun to share with you guys the bags that I love and I am so happy to have in my collection. My collection is growing. It's um, it's definitely getting where I want it to be because I don't want it to be overwhelming, but I want it to be, you know, where I have a, a I want to have at least three bags for every month to choose from. So that's kind of what I do. I wear I wear them based on the season and the holiday and what's going on that month so I definitely like to have like three or four bags on hand to wear per month without overdoing the bag and I feel like that's very good to do with this uh, kind of bag from Lounge Life because even though they're wonderful quality you know it's not <clears throat> it's vegan leather it's not made out of like real leather so you don't want to overdo it you don't want to put too much stress on strain on your bag and it's uh I like to keep them. I like to take care of them. I'm not a one who babies my bags, but because I have so many and I like to wear them on occasion, I don't, I have never ripped one or anything like that. You know, thank goodness. But yes, they are make me happy. And this is my, definitely some of the happiest of my collection. They are, uh, like I said, a work of art. And it's just so amazing that someone has designed these and made this happen for us. Okay, guys, thank y'all for joining. I hope you all have a wonderful day and enjoy your week. Bye.